Hi, Hunt and Passion. More or less everybody who is in the side-by-side -side market has heard about AYA. Based in Ibar, in the Basque region, they have producing guns for many, many years. Good quality side-by-side -side shotguns. More or less everybody knows one or two models of the range. A 106, the 107, the 116, the 25, the number two, the number one, the senior, etc. But actually, back in the days, back in the early 50s, in Denmark, there was a guy called Julius Gulman. And he was fascinated by the Spanish guns. So he decided that he wanted to import them to Scandinavia. And he contacted AYA at that time. And he said, probably, I would like to import your guns, but I don't like the names. So in cooperation with AYA, he actually changed the names. The 106 became the Hunter's Gun. The 116, 117 became the AYA Jaguar Special. The box lock version of the 25 became the AYA Gold Point. The side lock version of the 25 became the AYA Sherwood. The AYA number two became the Goldman Ambassador. But he actually managed, because of the demands for Spanish guns on the Scandinavian market, to convince AYA to make an upgraded version of a standard box lock, just for the Scandinavian market. Back in the days, most box locks coming out of Spain was based on an Anderson Dealey box lock. Well, copies of it. And AYA had the 3A and the 4A, and they were more or less copies of the well-known Wesley Richards box lock at the time. But for Julius Goodman, that was not enough. Well, actually for the clients on the market, it was not enough. The A3 had a fairly simple engraving. The A4 had a little bit more, but still fairly simple. So, the clients in Denmark, the market wanted a fairly cheap, but actually beautiful box lock. And Julius Goodman in cooperation with AYA came up with this. This is an AYA silver point. Based on the 3A box lock, which is recognizable with these two pins. The 4A has screws instead of pins but as you can see on the pictures this is upgraded with beautiful rose and scroll flower and scroll engravings they are probably partially handmade I cannot find any verification about that but judging from the way they look there are variations in there, so they suggest they have been handmade. The lock is beautiful, color case hardened, auto safe, and an injector, which was not available on the 3A, only on the 4A. Double trigger, trigger guard has engravings surrounding the trigger serial number, a little engraving at the bottom of the tank. Underside of the receiver is beautifully engraved with scroll engravings. The checkering on this one is sharp, even though this is made in 1966. The gun is in close to unused condition. Bluing of the barrels are the original. The lacquer was standard on the silver point, it has been removed on this one and it's got an English polish instead because this piece of walnut is a bit above standard, probably a great two. It was available with straight English stock as this one, semi pistol grip and a pistol grip according to demand. This 12 gauge, it was available in 16 gauge too and I actually think it was available in a 20 gauge though I haven't seen it marketing on the, the Danish or the Scandinavian market. Barrel length, this is a 20 gauge, 
It was available in 26 and in 30 inch barrels too. Chambered in two and three quarters. Just a beautiful, well-balanced gun that shows that AYA was actually perhaps a little bit before the time because they wanted to adapt to the different markets in Europe and actually even in the States. The AYA Yeoman is one of the examples. From what I had known it was actually made in cooperation with an English importer for the English market and later it was actually sold on the American market too. When you look at AYAs, well just because you find a Goldman Ambassador doesn't mean that it's a cheap gun because that is actually based on, based on the AYA number two. If you find an AYA Sherwood, it is actually based on the AYA 25 side lug ejector. Guns like these in this condition, they are rare and they are getting rarer, but they are out there. And actually, a few days ago, a fellow hunter looked at this and said, is it brand new? He said, no, it's actually just a shed over 50 years old. But you can find guns in this condition out there for a very fair price. And it will take another 50 years of hunting pheasants, partridges, woodcock, ducks, it doesn't matter. AYA through the years have made a lot of guns and to be honest my heart has always been beating for AYA and actually the Ibar region. And just the other day I saw an ad, a private ad for a gun made by AYA. It was an AYA 4A Deluxe with a 25 inch barrel with the Churchill rib. And that just shows that AYA was really willing to fulfill the demands of the customer, for the importer, for the client. So if you go out there and look, look carefully, because there are Spanish guns out there that are unique, even though they bear the name of a standard model. And to me, it's part of history, a history worth keeping for the years to come. I hope you enjoyed this little insight to another AYA, this time the Silver Point. I hope you stay tuned, like, subscribe, share, and find Hunt and Passion on Facebook if you want to. Until next time, happy hunting, and have a nice day. Bye.